Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be talking to you about distractions, which I've got to admit is something that I have struggled with in the past when it comes to studying, when it comes to sitting down and getting on with some work, something that you need to get done. Um, but there are a few things which I have learnt over the years, a few ways that I've trained myself to eliminate the impact of distraction. I'm basically going to be sharing with you what's worked for me. This might not necessarily work for everyone, but hopefully you might find this useful and hopefully some of these tips will help you to get less distracted because ultimately when we give way to distractions, that's when we procrastinate, that's when we're less productive, that's when we're less focused, so avoiding distractions is so so important and during sixth form when I was doing really long study sessions this is something which I really relied on to help me keep my focus help me keep working productively somehow throughout the whole the whole stunt yeah so I've just got a few quick tips which I'm going to share with you and I hope you find it useful now the first thing is basically a way that I train myself to avoid distraction in examinations because this is the very worst time to be distracted. Um, I, have, I have had cases where I've been sitting in an exam hall, especially at GCSE, and I would basically just find it really hard to concentrate. I would be thinking about the invigilators who were walking up and down. Sometimes they'd read over your shoulder or something, um, and that would really put me off, it would really distract me. and. I couldn't focus entirely on the work and also really tiny noises so I remember this one exam when it might have, I think it was internal but um, one of the invigilators had a watch on and when they were typing the watch was making this really strange scratching noise on the computer and uh, it was really really tiny I don't think many people noticed it but I couldn't concentrate because of it and also walking up and down uh, other people writing, other people typing. I found that really, really hard to concentrate within, especially at the beginning of an exam when you really need to get into the mindset. So the way that I train myself to avoid the impact of this was by practicing studying with these background noises. I think they're called ASMR rooms, but there are a few of these which have sounds like other people writing, uh, people walking up and down. There's even an exam hall one which I found. If you play this when you're studying as opposed to having silence, having rain noise, having music, um, then you basically have to train yourself to get used to that noise and it won't feel so abnormal when you're actually there and you won't get distracted by it. So that is a top tip which worked so well for me. The second way that I don't get distracted by distractions is by having a signature scent which I study to. My mum actually is an aromatherapist and so she mixes together oils and one of them which she made for me is, she calls it Ruby's Revision Remedy and this is basically some oils uh, blended together which I'll put on my wrist before I study. Basically I associate this now with really good quality revision and really, and focus. So when I smell that, I'm instantly in this mindset where I am focused. Our memories are largely drawn to scent. It's one of the greatest ways that we can remember something. Not only is this gonna help you to recall the information, but I also find that it helps to get me into a certain mindset. Now, the third thing is very simple, but very, very important, which is to turn off your phone and put it in a different room, ideally, um, with the sound off. There, there are times, there have been months where I have just found myself getting more distracted by my phone, getting more distracted by social media. And during these months, I do have to just put my phone out of my room. It takes a lot more effort then to actually stand up, go out, go find it, then check something. And so, I mean, it's so much easier when your phone's literally right here and you can, you can just take a few minutes. It's gonna disrupt your focus, it's gonna disrupt your sense of flow. The fourth tip which I have, uh, which is again more to do with training yourself, is to make a note of things that distract you. So if you find yourself getting distracted by something, just kind of make a note of maybe what you were working on, make a note of what distracted you as well. So for example, one thing which I noticed that I would always get distracted by was if my room was messy. So if there was just a single top or jumper on my bed, or if the bed was kind of like slightly crumpled, or if, if I had loads of stuff out as opposed to having a clean surface, I would find myself getting more distracted. And so I basically just had to incorporate tidying my room beforehand into my study routine. And then that helps me to stop feeling distracted and start to focus instead. Uh, the fifth thing is, again, quite simple, but again, very effective, which is to keep goals at hand to look at if you need to. I can't, I don't know if I've ever actually done this. I've definitely thought about doing it. I'm pretty sure I've done this before, but I might not have done. Basically writing out a goals list, uh, which I have got, um, and then keeping that pinned up to your wall. And then that's kind of like a distraction. 
but it's a good distraction. I know that this doesn't work for everyone, but I would I would personally recommend making sure that there's a specific space in your room or in your house where you would work because then you're less likely to get distracted when you're there, especially if everything in that zone is to do with work, is to do with studying. So my desk obviously is my prime study place. This is where I study. And so when I sit down here, um, I don't really have anything here which is gonna distract me from that because all I've got are things like pens and things like pencils. And leading on from that, having a nice workspace, I really think it's worth either investing in, in a few little bits to make your desk more homely, more friendly, um, so for example maybe a plant, I didn't actually have a plant on my desk but now I'm thinking about it, it'd be really nice to have a plant on my desk. I, I say a plant because, so this is the view from my desk and I am so so lucky to have this view when I work, but having this view means that I enjoy working and I enjoy sitting down to study and it's, and I don't really get distracted so much, I'm more focused because I kind of, I enjoy being in the space that I'm in. I think it's really important to have a study space which you enjoy genuinely being in. So making sure it's a really light space. If you can't, if you're not lucky enough to have a desk right next to your window, having like a bright lamp, um, you know, kind of white light as opposed to yellow lights, candles. Uh, I actually filmed a video on my channel which is my preparing to study routine which includes some of the things I might do before a study session. Um, and that's very much centered around partially aesthetics. In my mind, it is linked towards being in a more, more productive state of mind and I find it easier to get into a state of flow when I'm in this kind of environment. And then the very last thing which I recommend is making a timetable, which is something I really swear by when I'm doing studying. So one thing which I have mentioned before is that I like to flick between things, unless it's already quite a varied task, unless it's maybe research-based where you're looking at multiple different things and it's very go 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 and your mind can stay very active and it's not going to get bored by anything. I like to flip between tasks. I like to keep my brain awake, engaged, enjoying it, uh, not really, uh, not getting bored by something because that's the very worst thing that can happen and that's when you start to get distracted. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so that are one of my tips, very, very quick, uh, but I hope that some of these were helpful and for everyone who is getting ready to prepare for either GCSEs, AS levels, A levels, or final exams, uh, end of your exams wherever wherever you are i really hope that your studying goes well make sure to look after yourself this exam season make sure to give yourself give your give your mind and your body the breaks and the time that it needs to recuperate only you know how much time you need for that um be sensible but also be kind to yourself it's so so important to be kind to yourself yeah so uh good luck to everyone who's working hard uh and i hope that you have a productive week